Hey everyone, I'm Chadwick. And I'm Ashley. And today we're going to tell you the top five things we love about our Winnebago Micro Mini 2100BH. Come check it out. This is the good life. first thing we love about this Winnebago Micro Mini is its length. It's about 22 feet long, which we were just over in Arches National Park, and we're not there now, we're at a KOA, but we want to camp at National Parks more this next year. And the campsites there are not very long, right? No, not at all. And I was like, thank goodness we stuck with a short 22 footer instead of like a 30 footer like I wanted, because it's so much easier to fit in those smaller sites. Yep, and the other thing about the size, it's also a lot more, uh, it's not as wide as a lot of campers that are similar to it. So this one's seven feet wide, and that's great when you're going through traffic where there's construction zones. In Moab over here, there was barrels and, and cones and all kinds of construction. It took us forever to get through, but having a, a trailer that's not as wide as my truck, it gave me confidence. I know I'm not going to be scraping or hitting things with the, the back end there. I think a lot of similar ones are around this size can be eight feet wide. So I think the seven foot, that extra foot really does help. Yeah, so it's, it's easier to tow. Which the other part about towing is how much it weighs, right? Yeah. So how much is this? Uh, 3,800 pounds dry-ish, right? right? Yeah. Yeah. We took it to a cat scale. It wasn't, it wasn't a whole lot more loaded. Yeah. So. Uh, which means, with it being a lesser weight, you can tow it with, I mean, probably a, a lighter truck. I mean, we, we originally had, uh, we have a Ford Explorer that I wouldn't recommend uh, you tow with, but if you are not you're in the mountains. You're technically able to, yeah. though. It's got a 5,000 pound tow capacity. Right. You just don't want to load down the camper with much if you're going to use that type of vehicle. Yeah, so we upgraded. We tow with a Ford F-150 with the max tow just because, I mean, why not? And this thing's so light that the, you can hardly tell you're even pulling anything with that, that up, half ton pickup truck. Yeah, up at elevation, you know, 12,000 feet going over passes is no problem with it. So that lightweight, for sure, is enough, it goes along with the size. Mm -hmm. We love that. Super easy to tell. Oh, I'll say one more thing, because we drove through Windy, South Dakota this summer. Having a longer trailer is not also tough for fitting into national parks, or state parks. It's also tougher to tow when it's really windy out. So we have a video on our equalizer hitch that we use, which I think helps a lot. It's an E2 hitch, but having shorter length when you don't have a, you know, a heavy duty truck or something, I think helps a lot too. So that's another thing to consider if you're buying your first camper or your first travel trailer. The second thing we love about our Winnebago Micro Mini is just the overall aesthetic inside and outside i guess too but inside um we had, went to the camper show last year when we were thinking about getting a camper because what better place to see all the options and we looked at so many models that had this very similar layout and we walked into the winnebago it was like the last one we saw of this model and we both looked at each other and we we're like this is the one it's like when you walk into you're buying a house and <laughs> you walk in and you look at each other you're like this is the house we walked into this and we were like this is the one so i think a lot of that had to do with just the overall aesthetic and feel inside let's see what we're talking about so here we are inside talk about a few of the aesthetic things we like um in general i just like the the colors that they chose they feel more modern they're still kind of classic, but more modern with like the gray undertones, which are pretty modern nowadays. Um, the countertops I loved. They feel like a granite or quartz countertop um, with that modern feel. The cabinetry is kind of the wood with a little gray undertone. I just feel like it'll, it'll feel nice and new and modern for a longer period of time. I also know that the, um, the 2021 versions, they've redone the cabinetry and done like, um, I think like full overlay doors with some more like modern looking hardware on them as well. And so I think just in general, Winnebago does a really good job of making things feel current and not so, not so easily outdated as time goes on. We are down to the third thing that we love about the 2100BH. And this one's especially cool for me. It is the extra one square foot approximately of storage you get on the countertop. Of course you could install this on any camper and I probably would recommend that. Um, but having this extra counter space 
really gives us a lot of working surface and it also gives me a spot to make my coffee, which I use the jet boil for. Um, and there's still room to go in and out of the door. Although, if you got kids and all that, I would strongly suggest you move your stuff off when you're done cooking, move it back down. But that's a great upgrade that seems to come standard in this one. All right, the fourth thing we love is having the larger dinette and slide out. We looked at a lot of different models of the bunkhouse versions that had um, the smaller dinette that didn't slide out because initially we were worried about the weight of the trailer and the slide adds weight. But I'm so glad we just bit the bullet and got it with the slide out because um, having a family of four and you know the ability to slide it out and have the extra space but also more dining space. Like if it's raining outside and we can't eat our dinners outside um, or you know we want to play a family board game or something, we can all fit here very comfortably and um, it's just, I, I'm so thankful. We looked at other models, like in the Winnebago line, there's the 1700 BH and the 1800 BH, and ne I think neither of those have the slide out, um, but we're really glad we got the 2100 BH with the slide out. The fifth thing that we love about the Winnebago Micro Mini 2100 BH, although there's, there's obviously more, is gonna be the fact that it has both an oven down here with a three burner stovetop and a microwave. So a lot of campers this size don't have that. Now we know the 2021 Micro Minis, they got rid of having both an oven and a microwave. I guess they realized that some people thought it wasn't valuable. We, we sure love ours. Um, th what they do is they have a uh, convection oven and microwave that's up top. So they give you more storage down here, which is great because that's one of the things we don't love about this thing is that there's not as much storage as like, we'd love to have with a family of four and a dog. Um, but just know that going in that, you know, these newer ones don't have it. So if you want both, maybe look for a 2020 like this or older. This gets used every single time we're out to make, uh, Kroger makes these uh, amazing cinnamon rolls. If you don't know about them, you got to go buy some right now. Um, they're massive and they come with a separate, this is a side tangent, but whatever. It has a separate like little squeezy thing of, of uh, cinnamon sugar you put on as you're, as you're baking. Anyways, great oven. Um, as long as you put the pizza stone in, that's in a different video. Um, and then the microwave is great too. We use that a lot for defrosting like frozen meats and things all pre-cooked before we go out on the weekend. And you just throw it in the microwave, defrost it or thaw it in there. And uh, you know, it's a quick way so you don't have to worry about cooking a whole lot while you're out having fun with your family. So that's it. Those are the top five things we love about our camper. Uh, there's more than five that we really like, but those are the ones that are our favorites. And just so you don't think like this is some sort of ad for Winnebago or something like that, we did another video of the five things we don't like. So go check that one out and make sure you subscribe to our channel. And leave a comment below. We want to know what's the thing that you love about your camper. They're all a little different, so we just want to learn and find out maybe what our next rig should have that we're missing out on. Thanks. Bye.